It affects all ages, races, and genders. It's called sarcoidosis, and it may be more common than you think. Sarcoidosis can affect any part of the body, and so the symptoms can be many. Dr. Daniel Culver is a Cleveland Clinic pulmonologist and an expert on the disease. It is an inflammatory disorder that probably occurs when your immune system reacts to something to which it's been exposed, perhaps by breathing it in. The cause is not known, but in someone with sarcoidosis, microscopic clumps of inflammatory cells group together. They look like granules, and we call them granulomas. The immune system is trying to wall off or contain something that it can't eradicate. And in sarcoidosis, that might be a small protein or a small particle that the immune system simply can't quite get over. General symptoms of sarcoidosis include fatigue, fever, swollen lymph nodes, and weight loss. Lung symptoms include persistent dry cough, shortness of breath, wheezing, and chest pain. When the skin is affected, people may have a rash of red or reddish purple bumps, which are usually located on the shins or ankles. They may also have sores on the nose, cheeks, and ears, and areas of skin that are darker or lighter in color. Finally, there can be growths under the skin. Eye symptoms can include blurred vision, eye pain, severe redness, and sensitivity to light. And that you'll need to keep your eyes wide open. Sarcoidosis is not a type of cancer. In fact, sarcoidosis is very heterogeneous. In some people, it tends to persist. That's probably about a third of people who get it. And in about two-thirds of people, it goes away over the course of, let's say, one to five years. That's with no treatment at all. In fact, the treatments that we have today can suppress sarcoidosis, but we don't think that they make the disease go away. So the analogy that I usually use is that sarcoidosis is more like high blood pressure. We can suppress it and make it look better. We can treat symptoms. We can hopefully prevent problems from arising from it. But as soon as we stop the medications, if the disease hasn't run its course yet, it will still come back. Diagnosis is made using some of the following tools. Chest x-rays, bronchoscopy, CT scan, PET scan, breathing tests, EKG, blood tests, and others. It's hard to estimate how many people have the disease. Sarcoidosis can affect people all around the world, but there are certain demographic groups that tend to get it more commonly. In the U.S. population, it's much more common and also more severe in African Americans. And in fact, it's also a little bit more common in women. It's also more likely that it will be severe and that it will involve multiple organs. And so a lot of those people actually need to have treatment and then they have effects both from the disease and from the treatment on their quality of life. For Fox 8, I'm Dr. Mark. Dr. Mark is sponsored by the Cleveland Clinic.